Yo, 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 it's CryptoRocker here and today we're talking about how to use stop loss to make profits. Using stop loss is a key strategy to use, it's a great tool to have. I'm surprised to see that there's a many people that don't use stop loss. Um, before I get into this video guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys, please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me. I do videos on cryptocurrency news, trading tips, tutorials, ICOs, price predictions, the whole lot to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency. So yeah, please subscribe to my channel. Um, so yeah, let's get into this video guys. So stop loss, what is stop loss? Stop loss order is an order placed with a broker to sell a security when it it reaches a certain price it's as simple as that guys if you want to find out more about it investopedia is a great place to learn for new people about stop loss and other investment and trading tips and strategies so basically if a pro if, if you're buying bitcoin at ten thousand, but you're scared that it might drop you could place a stop order for bitcoin at eight grand so when it drops to below eight thousand, it will sell it so you don't have to worry about losing more than that two grand for, on bitcoin so that's basically what stop loss is so why you should use it so one of the main positives for stop losses you know you can predict what your stop losses are you don't have to keep watching the uh, cryptocurrency markets where the price is going for myself i spend so much time on coin market on my on my phone apps checking the prices and binance and bitrix gdax looking at prices um it's crazy so um, if you're not addicted to cryptocurrency like myself you can place an order put your stop loss in if the price goes up great if it goes down you only lose um, the amount that you've already accounted for so that's the main reason why i say to people to use stop loss i always post on my twitter or instagram if i post any trading signals i always say use tight stop losses on my on my instagram rockstar crypto on my twitter rockstar crypto i always say trade with tight stop loss as price this in this instance the price had already gone up so there could have been a slight dump in price but usually when i trade i, I use stop loss a lot because you'd never know never no one knows what's going to happen with the market unless it's a long-term investment where i usually where i don't use stop loss sometimes but when i'm tra day trading i always use stop loss and then um, i just made a funny meme about stop losses because there's one coin that i bought and it went up 30% and I was really happy that I made that money. Unfortunately, before it went up, it hit a stop loss. So I didn't make the money. So that's one of the disadvantages of stop loss that, you know, for the um, small amount price fluctuations, it could hit your stop loss and you could sell it at a lower price. So to, to stop that, you need to put your stop losses slightly below um, where you want to sell it so maybe five percent or ten percent below so in a long-term investment they say put fifty percent below the price that you're buying so the short-term fluctuations don't affect it unfortunately for this here uh, this uh, coin i could have made thirty percent it hit the stop loss by just a tiny amount so I, I, unfortunately i didn't make that money and although i did my research i was hoping that it was going to break out and i'll make some money i couldn't make it so right let's get into the video let's get into um how to use stop loss um sorry neo i haven't got neo in this account but i've been checking up neo's price so how do you use stop loss it's very simple guys so i'll do binance and then i'll i'll have i've got screenshots for you to take away to use it because sometimes you forget where which way around it is so i've got screenshots to talk you through at the end so stop loss so bnb price at the moment is 0 0.001452 so let's say you've bought it at that price and you're scared, you think that it will break out, but you're scared that it might drop. If Bitcoin crashes, it takes down usually the smaller market. So all the pairings that trade with Bitcoin, they also fall massively. So you're scared that B BNB or Binance coin might go down. So you want to put a stop loss at, let's say, 0 0.0125. This is where you want to sell it at. But, you know, the way it trades, guys, you can't always just put that in. You have to tell them when you want your order to go in so this is a price that they will place an order for this amount so just to explain it again when the price reaches not 0.00126 binance um, will place an order for not 0.00125 and um, for the market to sell so you will get you will sell your coins at this price and this is only to t this is only the price where uh, they execute your order for this so you won't you will be getting this um money 
uh, for the amount you sell. On Binance, it's quite good because sometimes you, you you might get them the wrong way around. Binance talks you through it. If the last price drops to or below 0.00126 Bitcoin, an order to sell 2.42 Binance coin price at 0.00125 will be placed. So this talks you through um, how you sell um, your Binance. So Binance is quite good. This is how you do it on Binance. I've created a spreadsheet for you guys to talk you through it. I, I, I advise you guys to kind of uh, maybe do a screenshot so you, you guys could you know go back and look at it so this is for binance bitrix is the same guys so bitrix this is when this price is reached when this price is reached so this is what you put on so not point zero 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 five seven when this price is reached your sell order will be placed so this is the price I have this price slightly higher than your sell order because sometimes if, if the market crashes really quickly your order might not get executed so that's why I put this slightly higher so maybe five percent three percent depending um, depends on you but have it slightly higher than this price so it gives the market time to execute your order order so this is the price when your market order your sell order will be placed and this is the price of the sell order so this is the price you will be selling at these are these are the only two things you need to know people make it complicated it's very simple guys so again I'll just take you through GDAX guys so when this price is reached your sell order will be placed have this price slightly higher than your sell order like I've explained before the price of the sell order this is the price you will be selling at so this is the price of the sell order and this is the price that you'll be selling at it's as simple as that guys I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial guys if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends I'll be doing many more videos on cryptocurrency news price prediction trading signals on my social media and YouTube um, and many more videos on cryptocurrency so have a good day guys and I'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much